it's dinner time and my kids wanted to order Chinese. Um, and I was like, eh, I'm not really in the mood to order Chinese. And they're like, but we really want Chinese. So I said, you know what I was gonna make? I was gonna grill some steaks tonight. And then I said, you know what, I'll make Chinese. Well, kind of Chinese. I think I'm gonna make Mongolian beef with jasmine rice. So I have the rice cooking and this is everything we're gonna need to make it. I had last night pulled out of the freezer. I buy the Costco packs of the steak strips and I pulled that out, thawing, brown sugar, shallot, garlic, little bit of sesame seed oil, cornstarch, mirin, and soy. And we are gonna make Mongolian beef over rice and it's gonna be better than if we ordered Chinese. Let's go. This is a really quick and easy dinner. So let's roll up our sleeves. First thing is we gotta get our beef cut. We're gonna use the Ziploc baggie to put all our meat in and toss the cornstarch. So the, you can use flank steak is usually the preference of cut meat for this, but I had these beef strips and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it on an angle, nice and thin. The thing with Asian food is it cooks quick. So you don't want big, big, thick chunks. So you want some nice thin sliced steak. So we're gonna slice all this steak nice and thinly and put it in the Ziploc baggie. And then I'll show you how we toss it with the cornstarch. No mess. No clean up. Cut all our beef, put it in there. Cornstarch, gonna add it. Like I said, the Ziploc baggie makes your life a lot easier. Just tap it out, sometimes it gets a little stuck. I'm gonna put my black pepper right in the bag as well because we're gonna shake it all together and everything will be together. The salt, woo! Good catch, right? Okay, Ziploc our bag. And shake, shake. Shake. Make sure you turn your bag so everything gets coated really well. This is gonna help make that meat get crispy and like, like that. That's why Asian food's so good, it's crispy, <laughs> but super tender. All right, so, like I said, coat it all. Set this aside, because we're gonna make our sauce so when we get to the stove, everything's ready because it's all in the prep. We're gonna make the sauce, so get a bowl. In here, you're gonna put your rice wine vinegar. You're gonna put your soy. You're gonna put your brown sugar. Then, should have done it all at once. We're gonna do ginger. So um, you can buy the ginger at the grocery store the way you wanna do it. You break off what you want. And a little check, trick, because people always are peeling with peelers, don't, use a spoon. Use a spoon and you go like this and look, the ginger peels perfectly. And then we can grind it right into our soy. So let me peel this real fast, get the grinder, we'll grind it in there, we'll go to the next step. Take your ginger, it's all peeled. It's very fibrous. So I'm gonna use the big side of a box grater and I'm just gonna run it like this. It's falling in, little small pieces. You don't want a big chunk of ginger. It's a little overwhelming. So doing this way, you're adding a little bit and it's keeping the fibers out. We're just getting the flavor, the little pieces. So you you can use your knife and chop it up. Just go really fine because it is very fibrous. I'm using a shallot. We're gonna do a really small mince. We're gonna dice, I was gonna say small dice, but it's really, we're gonna mince it um, down. And then we're gonna mince our garlic as well. Then we're gonna get some red chili flakes because we've gotta give it a little heat because there's a lot of sweet to it as well. So just adding this all into, I have it over here, into our sauce. Now what's happening is we're gonna go to the range and we're going to sear our meat, but then we'll take the meat out and we need to add the sauce to build the sauce in the pan. So if everything's ready, we'll fly through this in two seconds and dinner will be ready and no one can complain that they're hungry. And the last part that really makes it the beef Mongolian is the fresh scallions. And you can never have too much uh, with a dish like this. So I put them together, they're washed. I just add, take off the tips and I cut them on a bias. So, you know, we're fancy. We want to add a little Asian flair to it. Um, cut all the way down to the whites. It's okay to use them on this, even though the greens are usually the garnish and the white is the flavor of the onion. There we go. Don't use the bowl, but at the end, you can just discard that or save it for stock. But we're gonna cut up a bunch of scallions so that they're ready to go once we add our beef back into the sauce to cook. 
hot pan, we're using my big pan. We're gonna add in sesame oil. Now, don't go crazy with sesame oil. It has a very, very strong flavor. So I actually do that and I blend it with a little bit of avocado oil. Um, but you really want hot, hot pan because the whole thing with Asian is quick cooking and a quick sear and the hot pan will help that be that crispy flavor that we're looking for. So oil's in, hot pan, taking my beef with the cornstarch. Sizzling, all right. Thin layer, all around the pan, just kind of use your hands to break it up as you go so it cooks evenly. This is probably gonna take two pans to cook. And then we'll add it all back in, but we wanna get a nice sear on it. But as you can see, the oil is bubbling. Bubbling. So this happens really fast. All of our steak, to lower the heat a little bit. All of our steak is brown and crispy. I'm gonna take it out of the pan. Move the soup back a little bit, actually see the whole pan. So you wanna get all the meat out of your pan. And now your pan's gonna have all this, these tidbits on the bottom, all that flavor. Thank goodness we have our sauce ready to go into the pan. And start working your spoon, scraping the bottom. And you'll see, because of the cornstarch, how thick your sauce gets right away. Put it down to a low simmer. We're gonna let it simmer, and then we're gonna add our meat back in. Our sauce is at a nice simmer and it's super smooth on the bottom because I scraped all the tape, you know, all the, I don't know, I call it tidbits because that's what I, I don't know, that's what I call it. Now we're going to re-put our meat back in and with the tongs, I'm just loosening it because I'm pinching it all together, all around in our pan. And we're going to let this simmer for eight minutes. And then we'll add our fresh scallions, taste it, and put it over our rice. This has come together so nicely. I wish I had a wok because I would do it in a wok. Maybe Santa will bring me a wok one time. Green scallions, look at them, adding them, stirring, shutting our heat off, shutting our heat off, turning it all together. Woo! Best Chinese food, better. We get the white rice and get a bowl. Um, dinner is served. White rice, our Mongolian beef. It smells so good. I'm telling you, sorry. You'll never order Chinese food again. You won't. Because it's better. And you know what's in it and you made it yourself. And it's delicious. If you make it, tag us. Love to know and see that you made it and how it came out. Tag us, watch the full video on YouTube. You can subscribe to our page. Sorry, my mouth's full. I'm hungry. Gotta go.